Filipinos growing with confidence, Ray. It's a much better round. Oh, good call by Chizzy. He doesn't want to get hit this round. And then look, if he knows the hole, he should be holding a bit more. And just in front, you know. Bago na ang ni George Cambosos Jr. ang titulong IBF, WBA, WBO at the ring title sa lightweight division. Mula ng baklasin nito ang undefeated na City of Imo Lopez. Dumaan muna sa matinding paghihirap sa kamay ng isang Pinoy ang dating sparring partner ni Manny Pacquiao na si Cambosos Jr. Matapos nakakuha ng dosi na panalo ang Pinoy na si Rodney Raffold na tubong sa Blayan Mindoro Occidental. Dumayo ito sa Australia sa unang pagkakataon upang sagupain itong undefeated na si George Cambosos Jr. Tara mga tol ating panoorin kung paano sinabayan ng Pinoy na si Raffle itong magaling na Australian champion na si Cambosos bago ito naging number one sa lightweight division. Ang laban ng Raffle versus Cambosos Jr. ay naganap sa Alphonse Arena sa Sydney, Australia. Sa round 1 mga tol, mainit na kaagad ang palitan ng suntok ng dalawang boxers. But it didn't rattle up the Filipino. He held his composure. He's a beautiful stuff. Bean. Yellow Rick Road, Mark Boros, so he's a great man. Good man, and uh, he's here tonight. Was an accomplished fighter. Left hand lead, double up. And then Bosa's got away from a left hand lead from... Oh, left, right, left. Beautiful stuff. Bean. Yellow Rick Road, Mark Boros, so he's a great man. Good man, and uh, he's here tonight. Was interviewed earlier by Bale. Dito sa round 2 mga tol, walang takot na inataki ng Pinoy ang bodega ni Cambosos Jr. na nagpatama naman ng mga malalakas na counters. Uh, 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 why the raps are there on this young bloke, Jeff, those combinations. He's got all the punches. One was between those talking back at the neutral corner and throws body punches and they're pretty good punches as well, but he counters with a straight one. And close they go. He grabs hold, Cambosis. And... Okay, you've got a wide shot on screen there. Talk us about this footwork in relation to the uppercut. Behind his front foot, where it needs to be a little bit more width to uh, transfer your power. And if that... Well, there's a beautiful uppercut with his feet in the... In the... the world champion is talking about Jeff Fennick. 22 seconds ago, round two, scheduled six rounder. Oh, we tagged him there. Rafael got in with a left hand. But the Good man, and uh, he's here tonight. Was interviewed earlier by Bale. Now, Filipinos growing with confidence, Ray. It's a much better round. Oh, good combination from the Australian. Back in the red corner, there's that bell. Almost compelled it. That's why he's here in K commentary, so that we get a better understanding of... Look, every time he steps... Oh, big right hand by the Filipino. Counted by a little short, sharp... Oh, another, another big right hand, left and right hand from... He's stepping into the right hand all the time. But don't be surprised, the Filipinos are going to throw a lot more right hands now. He's picked that up. Render or worse to that effect. Oh, sharp left hand there, but counteracted by... The fool. He took a punch from the fool on the glove and then returned with a couple of short, sharp ones. And there's a right, there's a left, over the top, caught him with a left. He took a punch from the fool on the glove and then returned with a couple of And there's a right, there's a left, over the top, caught him with a left on the... Oh, nice Funny how ebbs and flows boxing. You just when you think the other blade might. It's a joke. Anyway, back we come. Lightweight it is. Back of the head. What's at the back 61 points. We're in round four. Nine. The other blade took the other ten. Nine. So not much in it. Oh, it's that last impression that um, those judges are feeling. Yeah, and they're most impressed by what they saw in the last 30, not the first 30. Definitely so. Come on, boys, work inside. Oh, there's a good punch by Cam Basis as the Philippine. Oh, that's it. Loves a refool. Again, where do you punch? 
does say, well, he's a supremely fit young guy, he trains really hard because he's able to finish it. Blue corner obviously backed in Filipino. Oh, there's a couple of good punches thrown by the young Australian. And again, we're in the last minute of the round. A couple of straight lefts, one scoop. Round arm um, punch, either the final 10 seconds or so, over the top. And oh, there's a combination of punches thrown at the Filipino. And again, as Jeff pointed out in the previous round, he finishes the better. The Australian. Oh. Round for Cambosis. Dito sa round 5 mga tol, ang Pinoy na si Raffle pa rin ang umatake at nag-counter naman ang Australian boxer na si Cambosos. Six. Well, and the great thing is they haven't, they haven't brought him a tomato can. They they've brought him somebody who can uh, honestly fight. He will lose. To say, it's a bloke who's had nine end fights and two who's won six from six. Oh, that's a beautiful left hand. Nice counter left hook there. Okay, with the left right combination. Which is again, they just missed right because he didn't step with it. He just he just threw from the same position. You've got to realize the guy in front of him is the move. And a lot of these guys, guys, the move to their opponent. The Filipino left side there, right? Spot on, just well spotted as well. It's just a trickle of blood. But... Sa round 6 mga tol, mas lalong tumitindi ang pressure na binigay ng Pinoy na si Raffle sa hometown fighter na si Cambosos na laging napayakap. Now we are, uh, I'd say without putting words in Jeff Fennick's mouth, he's... This Filipino is going to go leather, he's going to go for hell this round. He will not stop, this will be a ferocious round. I'm told these children, what a, what, a, what a great human. Anyway, in the final round we are, um, I'd say without putting words in Jeff Fennick's mouth, he's got Cambosos in front. We've got two and a half minutes of it to go. They meet in centre ring. They've both given it their all. And the Filipino is still throwing punches, so the referee doesn't separate as Cambosis is throwing punches to the body and leading any or if he can break them up now. Look, for me this is great. I mean, I definitely have, but I know this Filipino is going to go to left and to it to go. They meet in centre ring. To throw too many punches, he doesn't want to get hit this round. And then look, if he knows to hold, he should be holding a bit more. And then just You're in front, you don't want to get knocked out in the last round and lose it. So, right? That one was on the shot, and the corner man, the cut man, got a good job on the eye. The black's gone. Oh, that's a beautiful one, the cut. Sydney from Rockdale. Oh, there's a nice punch. And then he had him backed away from them. He's going to win the fight. There's a, a minute 12 to go. And this has been a quality fight against a quality opponent. Yeah, it's been the best fight by far, enjoying this, because this is what boxing's about. So again, basis, the rats will be coming into it, and they'll be just as big coming out of it, because this bloke is an accomplished fighter from the Philippines. Definitely so, he may have lost seven fights. Mick if he breaks them all. He went in and ran into a punch. The Filipino combo. He doesn't need to try punches here, Cambosis. He's got a run, but he can't help himself. There. So there's a doubt. Has been opened up. Ooh. Moved away, and he comes after him, but the bell sounds. Talagang mainit ang pagtatapos ng laban, mga tol. Natalo man ang Pinoy via unanimous decision, ngunit nabigyan naman ni Raffle na magandang laban ang Australian champion. Salamat sa suporta sa mga kapwa kong seamen, mga OFW at mga boxing fans. Lagi niyong sundan, huwag magpapahuli. Pag-usapan ni Bakbakan, balita niya at laban. Mga Pinoy na di nagpapagapi. Salamat sa mga suporta na lagi nandyan.